So I didn't actually do an intro to this video, so I thought I'd quickly intro it now. It's a week in my life of social distancing slash self-isolation. I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, at the minute, it's social distancing, but I think I'm going to get a letter to say that I should be self-isolating. Because I do fall, in, fall into the 12-week category. Obviously, that wasn't released at the time this video was filmed. Things are changing daily, so terminology is changing daily. How much I'm going out, what I'm doing, is changing daily. So, yeah, if I say the wrong thing in this video, I'm really sorry. If it seems like I'm over-exaggerating, I'm not. I'm just following the guidelines the government has set and the place in which I fall into because of my illness. Because I take immunosuppressants, which means that I'm at greater risk if I get the virus. I hope I cleared that up and enjoy the video. <laughs> so I would have had no lessons today, which means I can do what work I just feel is urgent enough to do. I need to... So I get the most work done as possible. I'm going to stick to my school timetable just because otherwise I know I'm going to forget about a topic we're doing or a unit we're doing that is as important. Albie, can you stop that please? So for today, because I've got no lessons, I'm going to have a more chilled out morning because he needs to be taken out for a walk. But I need to figure out a time to do it when there's nobody else out because I can't be near anyone. So, I want to apologise about the lighting. I don't know why I look so orange. I've had a shower and I've washed my hair and I've got dressed. I'm going to take him for a W-A-L-K in a minute. Um, I've done some school work. So I've had quite a productive morning. Um, and then I'm going to come back and do some more school work. So, um, I've just found out because me and my family... We're supposed to be going to centre parks. No, he's a sleepy boy. We're supposed to be going to centre parks um, in the April half term. I've just found out that it's been cancelled, obviously, because of the coronavirus. It is about 8 a.m. on my second day of isolation i think today i'm going to try and get as much school work done as possible um i'm now just going to have some breakfast update check i've walked the dog and i've done some work my plan is to try and get business finished this week um and then all i need to do is focus on health and social care i found out today that i got a merit in my most recent health and social care exam which means i don't need to do what my mom's calling me so as i was saying um yeah so that's good it takes the pressure off a bit because it means i'm gonna get a distinction and a distinction in Health and social care, which means that I've automatically got my requirements for uni. I just need to get my coursework finished now. Um, so, yeah, I've been making TikToks as well. Instead of, because I've been trying to have like breaks and stuff, like I would at school. So, we're making TikToks. Posting every day until I'm TikTok famous. I'm going to try as well. Um, plan some videos for me to film i'm gonna have more free time so i'm gonna have more time to do youtube videos put more effort into them so i'm trying to turn this situation into a positive because it's really bloody scary i thought i was going to film this week in a life being all joking and laughing but it's scary like we can't hide from that it's scary so i'm gonna just try and make it into a positive thought i would give you a quick update i'm gonna be honest i felt really really anxious today I think it's because my biggest concern, I can stay at home. I think my mum's going to be made to work at home. My dad is being sensible, but I'm just scared of people's judgment of me and the way I'm dealing with it myself. Obviously, I'm doing all the right things for my illness, but I don't think people are seeing that, which obviously isn't helping. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling a bit today. So I'm going to put on some music and hope that gives me a little boost. Let the adventure begin. 
Citroen. So it is day three or four and I am cleaning. I'm going to do a proper deep clean, make sure everything's disinfected and tidy. Help my head space out a little bit, get me organised, get me motivated. Get me getting myself into a new routine because that's what this whole isolation thing is going to be about. It's about us ensuring that we're having our own new little routines. This is so good. <laughs> So, I did film, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did film Friday, but it was just a video of me crying. I was so upset and angry that I couldn't be there with everyone, and even if I was there with everyone, I'd be exactly the same. Like, we all felt so sad, and, well, as far as I'm aware, we all felt so sad and angry. Like, it honestly feels like something's been taken. Um, memories have been taken, time's been taken, it's horrible. But loads of people are in this boat and we're all feeling the same. Yeah, if you're watching this and you have been a part of my journey at a secondary school in sixth form, then thank you and thank you for making it so amazing because there's obviously highs and lows to everything, but it was a brilliant experience and time for me. And I'm going to miss my teachers and just being in that environment so much because it was so positive and lovely. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on before I cry. Um, but yeah, I haven't included the clip because I was crying. That's all I wanted to say. Hello, everybody. The day is now Saturday. Um, thought I'd curl my hair, do my makeup today, just make me feel a little bit more human. We are going to crack on with cleaning today. We've This morning we took the dog for a walk, obviously keeping our distance from each other. Um, and we took him for a really long walk and we went to the crematorium to see, hello pretty, to see my nan and granddad. Obviously they're cremated. To see them because it's Mother's Day tomorrow. I've got, I feel very anxious today, a lot of anxiety, so I think I'm going to clean and listen to some music and smudge just walking in my camera, get a little bit of positivity out there. because as you can see I've got no makeup on and it's now night oh, I've just oh, I need to get some hand cream one second I'm now gonna finish sorting my room like it's like half 11 to be honest me and mum just had some dinner me mum and dad just had some dinner and we played board games and watched some tv we had a really nice evening actually all I need to do is sort my bed out um and obviously I need to do that before I actually go to sleep oh she looks rough I look like I've just been on a night out. <laughs> My bed is so clean, it smells incredible. And like, because I've got the mattress cover cleaned as well, it's like just that little bit nicer. Good morning. 
I'm gonna try and learn a TikTok dance today, I think. Or film a YouTube video. I'm not sure what one. Man, I'm gonna curl it again because I absolutely loved having it curled. It's made me feel grown up. <laughs> it's his Mother's Day today and we had a nice breakfast all together. Just me, mum and dad because obviously my brother and sister can't come round. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, it was just a nice little week in my life. Um, I've now got a more structured, structured daily sort of routine now that slots in perfectly with isolation. So if you would like me to do a day in my life now where it's more structured, then let me know. Or if you've got any other ideas, because... I'm hoping to be really, really consistent on this channel now because I've got the time to, and I've got the time to put my all into videos, so I might as well make the most of it and just, like, bang out as many videos as I can. So if you've got anything you'd like to see, then please let me know. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like this video and subscribe um, because those subscriptions really, really help. And I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I also forgot to say, please stay safe, like, please stay safe, practice social distancing, only use public transport if you have to, only go to work if you have to, just do everything you can to keep yourselves and other people safe, um, so yeah, see you soon! <laughs>